Oh, oh, oh. Looks very thrilling. And this is now the Middle East's tallest vertical drop. It sounds scary, but we are going to try it out together. So join us in exploring the new Trident Tower. The all new Trident Tower opens for the public on Monday the 1st of March. It is the third tower of AquaVenture Water Park, adding 12 new fun-filled slides to the destination and are joined by 16 new slides for the young ones at the Splashers Cove and Splashers Lagoon. So now this water park has 28 more slides and they say that they've grown by another third because we already know they've got the Neptune and they've got, got the Poseidon Tower. This specific tower is going to be the hub for the thrill seekers because the slides here are bigger and better, especially with the double tornado wave of this one. This is really scary. And let's check out the other rides that this new tower has to offer. Thrill seekers are in for a treat and one can expect plenty of twists and turns. The 48 meter high tower is where one would be spending most of their time with a variety of rides to choose from. So here is what you should know about the top rides. Immortal Falls are now the first cliff jumping experience of the region. Then you have the long solo and family rides to look forward to that apart from a sudden drop have achieved new records for the park. So if you're a thrill seeker, you're literally spoiled for choice because we've got the longest water slide in the world over here now with a blast propulsion, which is about 450 meters in a minute and 40 second ride. Now I'm going to try what is the tallest ride in the world with a double tornado. It sounds exciting. Come on. For it. The best one, however, is the tallest vertical drop in the world, the Black Hounds. Oh, this is my favourite ride. With the new offerings and the hopes of the pandemic subsiding, the park management is expecting an increase in footfall. Well, obviously, with the opening of uh, Atlantis the Royal, there's obviously the, the, and the increasing numbers of hotels on the Palm as well. There was a, there was a obvious need to, to just increase it because the demand will be much higher. Uh, plus with our longer vision of uh, AquaVenture uh, to become the, the largest aquatic theme park in the world. So that all becomes, that all kind of makes a big, big, bigger picture within the next, you know, six to six to eight months. Particularly on government regulations, so we only had it in the beginning 30% occupancy and then 50% occupancy. So that's how we would how we would go, and that's kind of what we expect at the moment, or what we have at the moment with the residential market. Yeah, once we you know once we will operate, and obviously you know the, the entire situation world goes uh, kind of kind of equalizes, we'll 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 be able to do 12 to 13 thousand uh, people comfortably uh, in, in the entire area. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little visit of the AquaVenture with its new attractions, and don't be too scared about the rides because best thing is to stop overthinking and just dive right in. With cameraman Jordan Bernard, this was Abdul Karim for Khalij Times.